Speaking of the NIT, the women's tournament announced its automatic bid for Jackson State today. Head coach Tamika Reed says she's hoping for a little bit more uh, come selection Sunday tomorrow. The women were knocked out of the SWAC tournament by Southern on a crazy buzzer beater by Aaliyah Fontenot last night. It was just Jackson State's third SWAC loss in the last three seasons. Coach Reed said after the game she's still proud of how her team adapted this season despite the semifinal knockout. She says... JSU's Power 5 win over Texas Tech in top 100 net ranking should keep the Tigers in contention for a tournament play-in game. Your net ranking is, what, 97? Why do you think it's so low, especially when, when you've competed against teams that are their net rankings are probably, what, top 20, top 30? You say it's low, I think it's great. The next HBCU is 174. 97 is great. We got a team that's new. I got three players in my starting lineup that did not play last year. One in my starting lineup that averaged nine minutes a game. I think we did great. I'm happy to be at 97. We top one, we're top 100, okay? We're top 100. Last year we were 74, but I had veterans on the floor. I had peak players that have been in my program four years. They were on the floor. We were 74. We're 92. That's great. We could be 175 with the next HBCU. I'm happy with where we are. We'll see where we go from here. JSU finishes 99th in net, and Norfolk State comes in second out of ACU's at 164.